हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन दिस इज जनरल मैथ्स चैप्टर सेवन ट्राइंगल्स सो इन हेयर कॉन्ग्रेंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स इन योर लोअर क्लासेस यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट कॉन्ग्रेंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स ओके सो देयर फॉर इन हेयर आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम I will start from exercise seven point one, and whatever the examples are there, or examples or theorems, whatever it is there, we will discuss it in the revision. So in this video, uh, this is chapter seven triangles. We will start from exercise seven point one. Okay. So this is your exercise seven point one. Exercise seven point one. So you see the figure. You see the notes. Already it is given. Okay, the notes are already given. A, C, B, and D. So this is your diagram. So first of all, you see given. What given you see in quadrilateral A C B D. Yes, in quadrilateral A C B D. That is, I will write A C B D is a quadrilateral. This is our given. Okay, this is a quadrilateral that is given. Okay, and next what given? Next given that A C is equal to A D, and A B bisects. Okay, A B, A B bisects. Angle A. Okay, AB bisects AB bisects angle A. That means this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, I have to prove that to show that or to prove that same thing only. I have to prove that. What I have to prove here? Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. Okay, so now I will start the proof. I will start the proof. So in here you see, um, I have to A B C congruent A B D I have to prove. Okay, A C B and A B D. So first of all, I will take these two triangles. In triangle A C B and A and triangle A D B. Okay, these two triangles. So in here you see what it is given. It is given that AC is equals to AD. You see this is given. So AC equals to AD. This is our given. And next I can write that this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, angle CAB is equals to angle DAB. Okay, bracket since AB bisect since AB bisects angle A. Okay, since AB bisects angle A. Understand? And next, I I can write AB is equals to AB. AB is equals to AB. This is our common side. Okay, this is our what? Common side. Understand? so therefore i can say that therefore you see i can say that uh, this triangle abc okay um uh, triangle abc therefore i can say that triangle abc congruent triangle abd okay abc abc congruent triangle abd okay by what postulate this is sas yes it is s a s understand so this is this two triangles congruent i have proved it 
now again in the question it is saying that what can you say about BC and BD? What can you say about BC and BD? So since this triangle is congruent to this triangle, so therefore I can say that, uh, therefore I can say that BC, BC equals to BD. Okay, BC equals to BD. This side will be equals to this side. BC equals to BD and the bracket I can write CPCT. Okay, in the bracket I can write CPCT. Okay, so I hope you have understood. I will go to the next question. Okay. Question number two. So question number two, first first let me draw the diagram. Okay, this is our diagram so now first of all I will write what are the things that is given okay what are the things uh, that is your given so you see given I will write it in here you see it is given so what is given here you see ABCD is a quadrilateral Okay, ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AD, okay, in which AD is equal to BC. This side is equal to this side given. And angle DAB, angle DAB is equals to angle CBA. This whole angle equal to this whole angle given. I have to prove that triangle ABD will be congruent to triangle BAC. Okay this triangle congruent to this triangle I will have to prove and next it is BD equals to AC uh, BD equals to AC and next it is angle ABD angle ABD is equals to angle BAC okay so in here you see first of all I will write what is given in here given that a b c d is a quadrilateral okay a b c d is a quadrilateral and next again what given you see a d is equals to b c given okay a d is equals to b c given and angle d a b is equals to angle c b a given okay uh, to prove that to prove that I have to prove that uh, what I have to prove this one I will write it down that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC I have to prove next it is BD is equals to AC I have to prove and the last one it is angle ABD is equals to angle BAC I have to prove okay now I will start the proof okay I will start the proof So in here you see, I will start the proof. So this is proof. I will first one I will prove. Okay, first one. So now in triangle, in triangle ABD and triangle B and triangle BAC. Okay, in triangle ABD, ABD and triangle BAC. Okay. A B D and triangle B A C. These two triangles I have taken. Now in here you see this is given. A D is equals to A D is equals to B C. Okay. A D is equals to A D is equals to B C. This is our given. Next thing it is given here that this one angle D A B is equals to angle C B A this is also our given okay and uh, 
next what is given you see AB is equals to AB okay I can write AB is equals to AB what in a common side okay I can write this to our common side finished so now in here what will happen uh, so therefore I can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC okay ABD is congruent to triangle BAC this is our first one it is uh, by what method by SAS okay by this is side angle sine side angle and side understand by SAS okay now I will prove the next one next one it is saying that BD is equals to AC okay BD is equals to AC I have to prove that uh, BD is equals to AC so I can write in here since triangle ABD since these two triangles are congruent to triangle BAC since these two triangles are congruent so therefore I can say that uh, therefore I can say that BD is equals to AC and this is by what this is by CPCT okay this is by CPCT and the third one you see angle B A B D angle A B D is equals to angle B A C okay so again I can write that since triangle A B D is congruent to triangle B A C so therefore I can say that angle A B D is equals to angle B A C this is again by C P C T understand so this is our proof okay this is our proof next I will go to uh, question number three okay next I will go to question number three question number three you see the figure it is given Okay, this is our figure given AD you see in here given that AD AD and BC okay AD are a AD and BC are equal perpendiculars to the line segment AB okay that is this is equals to this given understand AD and BC okay AD and BC they are perpendicular AD is perpendicular AD is perpendicular to AB and BC is perpendicular to AD and both of their length are equal okay both of their length are equal uh, yeah, are equal perpendiculars to the line AB so that CD bisect AB so that uh, CD CD bisect AB understand that means I have to show that OB is equal to OA okay OB is equal to OA I have to prove it understand so now in here you see uh, first of all I will write what it is given okay first of all I will write here what it is given okay so in here you see uh, solution given what given this one uh, solution no need to write you direct uh, this one after uh, this one question then this is in solution only in the question number question number three you need to write solution directly you write given understand after drawing the diagram you directly write what is given given so what is given you see ad is equals to bc given ad is equals to bc given and then next it is given that AD is perpendicular to AB and BC is perpendicular to AB okay AD perpendicular to AB and BC perpendicular to AB given I have to prove that what I have to prove here I have to prove that CD bisect AB I have to prove that CD bisects AB that is CD CD bisects AB that is 
O A is equal to O B. I will have to prove. Okay, O A is equal to B. This equal to this. I will have to prove. So now I will start the proof. P R double O F proof. So in here you see <coughs> uh, these two triangles I will take. Okay, this triangle and this triangle. So in triangle, in triangle O D A and triangle O C B. Okay, O D A and O C B. Understand? These two triangles I have taken. In here you see this angle. Will be equal to this angle because they are both 90 degree, 90 degree. Yes, I can write that angle O A O A D O A D is equal to angle O B C O B C is equal to 90 degree. And why 90 degree? I can say that this one since A D perpendicular A B and and BC perpendicular AB. This one I can write it in. Okay, in bracket I can write it in. Finished. Uh, next, this one I will give equation number one. Okay, this one I will give equation number one. And next, what given you see AD. AD is equals to BC. This is our given already. Understand? And this one I will give number two. Okay. And next one, next one, I will get you see this angle will be equal to this angle, yes, because they are vertically opposite angles. Next one, I can write that angle DOA, angle DOA is equal to angle uh, COB, okay, COB. Why they are vertically, vertically opposite, vertically opposite angles, okay, they are vertically opposite angles. This one I will not give equation number three okay this one i will not give equation number three this one we will keep it like in this way so i have already told you that in two triangles if two corresponding angles are equal then the third angle okay in the third corresponding angle also it becomes equal yes or no in two triangles if two angles are equal two corresponding angles are equal then the third corresponding angles also becomes equal and that is by our, our angle sum property yes so in these two triangles, since this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle, so therefore the third angle, understand? This angle will be equal to this angle, understand? So therefore I can write that angle B, um, uh, in here OAD, OAD, AD equals to BC, uh, DO, okay. So therefore, I will write that angle. Uh, this one I will write in your note. I think there's a slight bit mistake in the note. Means I should have written D O A. Okay, this one. Uh, sorry, O D A. Okay, O D A. I will write O D A because first I in in the left hand side you see I am taking this triangle. Understand? I am taking this triangle. So this one I will write. Therefore, angle O D A. Okay, O D A. This angle will be is equal to angle O C B. Angle O C B. Okay, this one is slight bit uh, means in the note in the note that I have given you, I wrote uh, 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 I wrote this one first and this one I wrote means you just turn it. Understand in the note you this one you just turn it. So this one you I can write it as angle sum property. Understand by angle sum property. Understand and this one I will give dot 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 equation number three. Okay, so from one, two, and three, from one, two, and three, I can say that from one, two, and three, we get triangle, uh, triangle ODA. Okay, triangle ODA congruent triangle OCB, and this is uh, by okay, this is a uh, angle side angle a s a okay by a s a angle uh, no, sorry angle angle equal angle angle this angle this angle equal and side side equal yes a s a a s a understand by a s a okay so since these two triangles are congruent so therefore i can say that therefore 
uh, I can say that OA is equals to OB okay therefore OA is equals to uh, OB I can say so therefore this is uh, CPCT okay so last line I can write last line therefore CD bisects okay CD bisects A understand it is very easy there okay first of all what I will have to do first of all uh, I will take these two triangles yes I will take these two triangles okay so then I will say that this angle is equal to this angle since AD per perpendicular AB and BC perpendicular AB it is already given so this angle is equals to this angle next again this side equals to this side given understand this side equals to this side given okay so in here you see and again next I will get that this angle will be equals to this angle they are vertically opposite angles yes or no so in these two triangles what I got first of all I got that this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle and this side is equal to this side okay so uh, in here you see uh, uh, in here you see if I say congruent now this angle equal to this angle and this angle equal to this angle and this side equal to this side if I have to say congruent okay I will have to say angle angle side understand because angle side angle I will not be able to say angle side angle I will not be able to say because when I say angle side angle these things you have already learnt in lower classes the side should be it should be the included side understand the side should be included then only I can say that these two triangles are congruent by ASA so in order to say that these two triangles are congruent by ASA what I will have to show that I will have to show that this angle is equal to this angle now understand then only you see this angle equal to this angle this angle equal to this angle and this side equal to this side now the side is included the side is included between the two angles then only I can say these two triangles are congruent by ASA so therefore to say that these two triangles are congruent by ASA what I will do first of all I will say that this angle equal to this angle okay and then I will say this side equal to this side and then I will say this angle equal to this angle okay they are vertically opposite angles so now we have already learned that in two triangles if the if two corresponding angles are equal then the third corresponding angles also it becomes automatically equal that is by angle sum property understand so therefore this angle equal to this angle this angle equal to this angle so therefore I can say that this angle equals to this angle and that is by angle sum property okay so from equation one equation this one it says that this angle equal to this angle N uh, equation two says that this side equal to this side and the third equation says that this side this angle equal to this angle so now i can say that these two triangles are congruent by asa so since these two triangles are congruent therefore their corresponding side will be equal so therefore this side will be equal to this side so since i say that this side equal to this side that means what this line this line this dc line bisect AB that one only understand so now next I will go to question number 4 okay next I will go to question number 4 so question number 4 you see Question number 4 here you see first of all let me draw the diagram here So this is your A, um, this is C, this is D, this will be B, this is L, M, 
PQ. So in here, first of all, I will write what are the things given. Okay, question saying that L and M are two parallel lines intersected by another pair of parallel lines P and Q. Okay, L and M, these two lines are parallel. Yes, these two lines are parallel. And these two parallel lines are intersected by another two parallel lines P and Q. Understand? I have to show that triangle ABC, triangle ABC, this triangle, ABC, this triangle is congruent to CDA, this triangle. This triangle is congruent to this triangle. I have to show. So first of all in here I will write what is given. It is given that L is parallel to M. Okay. And uh, L is parallel to M and P is parallel to Q. Okay. I have to prove that I have to prove that ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Okay. ABC is congruent to triangle triangle ADC is congruent to triangle CDA. Now I will write the proof. Okay. Now I will write the proof. So now you see I will take in triangle ABC and triangle ABC and triangle CDA. Okay. And triangle CDA. So uh, I will write here since since L is parallel to M. Okay. Since L is parallel to M. Understand? So you see this is parallel to this. What I can say? I can say that angle BCA. Okay. This angle. Angle BCA is equal to this angle. DAC. Understand? Therefore, I can say that. Look. Nicely look. Okay. I am, I am doing it in here. This side. I am doing it in this side. Okay, proof. The proof I am doing in this side. Proof. Okay, you see. First of all, I will take in triangle ABC and triangle CDA. Okay, ABC and triangle CDA. So, first of all, I will write since L is parallel to M, so therefore angle BCA, angle BCA equals to angle DAC angle DAC and this is why alternate angles okay these two angles are alternate angles understand and then next again I can say that you see AC equals to AC understand AC equals to AC why they are equal common side understand they are common side and next one you see again since this is parallel to this since p is parallel to q therefore this is parallel to this therefore i can say that this angle okay this angle is equal to this angle understand this this angle z making you see this angle is equal to this angle so therefore i can say that angle bac is equals to bac is equals to uh, angle dca dca again this is alternate angles understand this is again alternate angles okay so therefore i can say that triangle abc is congruent to triangle cda by what property i can say this angle equal to this angle this angle equal to this angle and this side equal to this side understand so this one i can say that asa okay asa this is proved understand this is our proof okay i hope you have understood so in here you see l is parallel to m given and p is parallel to q given okay l parallel to m and p is parallel to q given this is our given I have to prove that I have to prove that ABC is congruent to CDA. These two triangles congruent. That one I will have to prove here. Okay. So therefore, I will first of all I will take these two triangles in triangle ABC and triangle CDA. Since L is parallel to M, L is parallel to M, and AC is the transversal here. M is parallel to M, and AC is the transversal. So this angle will be equals to this angle understand this angle will be equals to this angle okay they are making a z you see 
this angle alternate angles again i can say that ac is equals to ac why it is common side next again you see since p is parallel to q this is also our given since p is parallel to q and in here you see ac is the transversal so uh, another one z i am getting here this one you see another one z first z i got it is this one z okay this is the z and next this is the z so this angle will be equals to this angle understand so therefore from this three what i got these two triangles these two triangles are congruent triangle abc congruent triangle cda angle side angle okay hence it is proved so next you see question number five next uh, question number five i will discuss it in the next video so in this video i have discussed uh, four problem sums okay i hope you have understood if you have got any doubt you please write it in the comment section okay so uh, in the next video we will start from uh, question number five question number five to question number eight um, uh, we will do okay and the notes it is already given i hope the all the notes you have written okay first you write the notes and then you look at this video and if you have not written the notes in your copy you please write it down i hope you have understood thank you